Hi, this is Amy from the Alti store. I want to show you the details of our battery backup kit. Now, this kit was designed to add battery backup to an existing grid tied system. Now, this is called AC coupling. We've done several videos about that, so you can check out our other videos on adding battery backup to, to uh, get more details of, of how it works. But now I'm going to show you the different components that are actually in the kit. This is a Schneider XW Plus 6848. This is a 6800 watt inverter that's designed for a 48 volt battery bank. It will not work without a battery bank. So this will connect to the grid uh, if the grid is up and you can actually sell any extra power back to the grid or you can just use all of the power that it generates uh, for your house. So it's a really nice, very, very flexible uh, inverter and gives you lots of options. And this is going to be a key component to adding battery backup to your existing grid tight system. Now this is very heavy. It's 120 pounds, so you definitely have to have at least two people to, to lift it up. We're, we're doing it all horizontally, but you're going to be doing this uh, vertically up on, on your wall. It does come with a nice mounting bracket, so you'll be able to mount this to the wall first, and you want to make sure that you attach it to a solid surface, either directly into the studs or if you've got a concrete wall, you want to make sure that you've got good, strong concrete uh, uh, anchors to, to mount this. And so then the inverter will slide onto that mounting bracket. It also comes with a mini PDP, the power distribution panel. Now this is the breaker box for the inverter. It has both AC and DC breakers in it. And we can open it up here. And you can see it's got it's got slots for the DC breakers as well as it comes with the, the AC breakers. So it does come with the main breaker that, that goes between the inverter and the battery bank. And it has all of the AC output and input breakers that you need. So it also comes with the system control panel. Now this is the basic display and configuration tool. So uh, it, it connects via the included cable and it just connects right to your inverter via the XAN bus and it's really nice because it does give you a visual display it gives you the buttons to do all your configurations so it's really the minimal that you need if you do want to have web access to it and be able to control it remotely then you also need to buy the com box and we've got that listed as an add-on to the system so, so does not come with web control, but if you do want that, you can actually buy that additionally. We've also got a lightning arrestor, and this is an AC lightning arrestor to protect the inverter from, from any uh, nearby lightning strikes. Very important. And we've got enough battery cables. We've got battery interconnects, both black and red. So there's 15 of the black ones. Now this is going to be used to wire the, the batteries both in series and then you've got one of each to wire them in parallel. And we've got uh, a nice 10 foot 4 aught cable to connect from the uh, breaker box to the batteries. Now um, this kit does not come with batteries. We did design it to be used with our battery kit, our crown batteries, and that is 16 of the 390 amp hour 6 volt batteries. So we designed it so you would have two parallel strings of eight in series. Now it's a pretty big battery bank, and we did that for two reasons. With AC coupling, which is how we're going to be connecting this to your grid tight inverter, this is going to backfeed all of the current from your solar array into the battery bank. It does not go through the multi-stage charger, so it doesn't have the control that you would normally see coming from the grid using, using that to charge your battery bank. So that means all of the current is going to be going into that battery bank. So that's potentially about 120 amps. 
So if you're using lead acid batteries, either sealed or flooded, uh, so AGM or, or your flooded batteries, they don't like to be charged too fast. So if you've got 120 amps coming from your solar array, you need to have a battery bank that's big enough to be able to handle that. So um, a good rule of thumb is they really don't want to be charged more than say one fifth of their amp hour rating. So if you figure you've got 120 amps coming through the inverter, if you've got a battery bank that wants to have a C5 at the most, that's about a 600 amp hour battery bank. So you really need to have a big enough battery bank to, to handle that. Otherwise, you, you're gonna just wreck your batteries and that's an expensive thing to wreck. Uh, the second reason that we did such a big battery bank for this is that this is a 6800 watt inverter. So this can handle some pretty big loads. So one of the things that it can handle is actually your air conditioner. Now, as you know, an air conditioner takes a lot of power and we did a big enough battery bank in order to store that much energy. What this kit does not include is a critical loads panel. You do need to buy one to make this work. Now, a critical loads panel is just a fancy way of saying an AC breaker box that you're going to put your most important loads into. So this separates it out from your main breaker box so that you would be able to select, say, certain outlets, certain lights, and have those be powered by your battery bank and not other non-critical things like your hot tub. So uh, a critical loads panel, you can just buy that locally. It's just an AC breaker box, uh, probably about a hundred amp minimum. And I'll show you how to connect that in another video. So this kit is also very versatile where if you don't want to use it as an AC coupling kit, all you need to do is get a solar charge controller and a couple more DC breakers, and you can turn this into a completely off-grid solar system. So it can also be a hybrid grid-tied battery backup system where you're connected to the grid and to your battery bank. So the solar panels that you would add through the charge controller would charge your battery bank, and you can either use all of that power yourself, or if you have extra, you can sell it back to the grid. And then if you need any more power than, than what you're making, you can buy any from the grid when the grid is up. So it gives you that versatility to be able to make, sell, and buy all of, all of the power that you need. The XW also has a second AC input. So if you have a generator, you're able to connect the generator to the inverter as well. So this is an inverter charger, so it would be able to charge your battery bank through the generator. So that way you only need to run the generator a little while, run it through it, charge your batteries, and then you'd be able to turn off the generator and you've got a fully charged battery bank that you can run. So you've got a lot of different configurations that you can do with this kit. So. Uh, Stay tuned for the next video and we'll show you the, the basics of how to actually install this kit. I'm Amy from the Altis Store. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos and go to our website at altistore.com where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.